Hey everyone, rather than focus on one main news story, this week we saw the launch of four new things, so I thought we'd go through each of them one at a time. Starting with number one, the Bank of England started handing out the new £10 note. Uh, a lot of journalists and campaigners were keen to point out that it's the first note produced in a while with a lady on it, uh, while more observant commentators took the time to flip it over and look at the other side of the note where the Queen's been sitting for the past six decades. Um, but let's just for once celebrate the sight of bank notes being rolled out in the city, rather than being rolled up into small tubes on a Friday night. Moving on, if you're lucky enough to have hundreds of those new notes, you can get yourselves a new iPhone. I was hoping they'd finally roll out changing the name of the phone's charger to the Apple Juice, uh, but they basically brought out the same thing as before, but this time it's got a better camera, a bigger screen and a price point high enough to put the US debt ceiling debate into perspective. Less glamorously, we also got the launch of the Grenfell Tower Inquiry. Um, the iPhone costs hundreds of times more than that £10 note, and this public inquiry will no doubt cost tens of thousands of times more than that expensive iPhone. There's been a lot of angry debate about what the scope of the inquiry should be. You know, should it be limited to health and safety issues, public housing generally, uh, the question of whether ministers should be prosecuted. Uh, in a unique twist of events, though, it's the first public inquiry in a while where nobody's been angrily demanding that the scope be broadened to consider whether Tony Blair be prosecuted for war crimes. So first time for everything, I guess. And uh, finally, as we're talking about launches, you can't mention the word launch these days without the words North and Korea not long behind it. There's been a lot of differing opinions from various sections of the press about what's going to happen with Kim Jong-un and if we've got World War Three coming later this year. But never a newspaper to shy away from conspiracies. The Daily Express went with an article about how biblical prophecy in the dimensions of the pyramids at Giza calculate that the rapture is scheduled for the 23rd this month. Uh, so presumably, if you want to visit the US or Northern Asia, you might want to get a cheap flight in the next couple of days. Um, you know, before before it goes up in flames like the comments section on a Guardian article about Brexit. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.